Also happening tonight, at least two local school districts now say that they are not ready just yet to bring students back into their buildings. And they're now moving forward with a remote learning plan. West Seneca and Maryvale both announcing today that their phased reopening models, which begin with students learning from home this fall, will go ahead. Now, these difficult decisions come as the number of children testing positive for COVID-19 is surging right now. During the last two weeks of July, almost 100,000 children all across the country have tested positive. This new data was reviewed by the American Academy of Pediatrics and the Children's Hospital Association. It represents a 40% increase in the nation's total number of cases among young people. Tonight's 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley takes a closer look at these new school plans to bring students and teachers safely back to school. When I heard about it, I wasn't very happy because I really would like them to go back. Highly disappointed. Um, he's special ed. This is senior year for him. Um, he's regressed. Maryvale parents reacting to remote learning being in place through early October. Maryvale School Superintendent Joseph D'Angelo issued this letter to school families. The district will kick off its school year with phase one. Remote learning starting September 1st for all students through October 2nd, followed by phase two, a hybrid model, and phase three for all in-person learning, but no dates are given. We only get one chance to do this, you know, and uh, I think we need to be careful. And if someone said to me, you know, six months, 12 months from now, you know, you were too cautious, I would say that, that I'm guilty. Chrissy Lombardo's two children, Brooke and Roy, attend Maryvale schools. Both Lombardo and her husband work full time, and she said she was hoping her children could return. It's just because I want them to get their interaction and with students, and you know they miss their friends and the teachers and everybody. What do you miss most about not being in school? My friends and my teachers. Gretchen Hulk says her son Tristan has autism and attends Maryvale High School. She's a hospice nurse and believes it would be okay for him to safely return to his classroom. He's in a small classroom to begin with. It's usually six to eight kids. As long as they're social distance, I, I do not have a problem with them going back to school. Maryvale parent Cliff Tidsdale's son also attends Maryvale High School. He agrees with the district's decision. I'm actually okay with it. And if, if they feel that this is what's necessary to be safe for the community, I, I'm okay with it. In the West Seneca School District, a message from the superintendent says students will remain in remote learning through Thanksgiving. But Superintendent Matthew Bystrack says the goal is to bring students back incrementally. We're not saying that we're out until the Thanksgiving holiday. We're saying that that's a, that's a date that you probably should make some plans for. And we'll be communicating right along. Parents we spoke with say distance learning was a challenge, but they'll make the best of the situation. Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.